So let's start by getting some new style clamps, F clamps and a Dutch pin for the profile. And make sure you stick around to the end. I'll put a nice little tip in for you. The reason for the Dutch pin is purely to take the perk joint out with. I find this an easier way than with a plug and chisel. Next up is the new style brick clamp. These are much better than the F clamps for this purpose. The profile is a 45mm so I'm adjusting the gap to around 50mm between the brick and the clamp. Now I'm around 50mm, I'll grab the profile and place it between the brick and the clamp. It's hard to see, but there is a pre-marked gauge which I'll set to the brick, then tighten. That's that side partly done. Now I just have to repeat the process on the other side so I can move on to the next part. The next stage you'll need some 2x2 two two and 2F clamps. This acts as a stabiliser, stopping the profile from pulling left or right. Now making sure the cavity size is the correct width top to bottom, which in this case is 355mm, then making sure the left hand side that we're pulling off is plumb. You should be plumb on the right hand side if the cavity size is the same top to bottom. This is just one way to secure the stabilizers at the bottom with a 300mm F clamp and two concrete blocks. You just need one more 2x2, two two, again around 3 meters with two more F clamps. This stabilizer stops the profile pulling to you especially as you get to the top five or six courses. Clamp the bottom of this stabiliser to the existing brickwork. Now that's all ready to go, this is one of the many ways to set up a profile and I've got plenty more coming. So I said at the beginning of the video I had a nice little tip for you, so here it is. When you have a pre-built internal corner like this, you only have to put the pin in every 4-5 to five courses in at a time. This A makes less pinholes and B is so much faster and I'll show you how. using a T 
single rather than walking over to the corner, getting your hammer out and putting 21 pin holes in the wall. This is a much more efficient way, as you'll see I get 10 courses from one pin hole. clamps or tingles I'll leave a link in the description below.